Hey guys, what's going on? This is Zero, and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Hermit Pack. Today is a special episode. Today is a day that we discuss breaking over 50 subscribers to the channel, which is very cool for me because it makes me know that there are actually people that are interested in the content, what we have to talk about, what we have to say, and that is awesome. That is awesome. I couldn't be more happier. Uh, you know, when you find out that people are actually interested in your content, and you're a smaller YouTuber, you know, that, it, it says a lot. It says a lot, and it goes very, very far. Uh, like, every comment you receive, every like that you get, it's like, it's a big deal. It is a big, big deal. <laughs> and so, being at 50 subscribers, there's a couple things I want to talk about uh, and go over and kind of help out the guys that are just starting out just like myself. I'm still, a, in, relatively speaking, a very small YouTuber. Very, very, very small. That's not even being, like, modest or humbling. Uh, I'm literally, like, <laughs> I'm still nobody. <laughs> But I hope to change that someday. I hope to change that someday. So there's a couple things I want to go over for being the 50th uh, subscriber video. And I hope that this helps other people out. So what I'm going to be doing for the majority of this video is going to be time lapsing. And basically I'm going to be doing a lot of the uh, the to and from of patterns and uh, material or not materials, but uh, the storage, storage stuff for our RF storage system. All right, guys. So number one on my list, and I think it's the most like biggest impacting one of all, and I run into it very frequently, and I'm doing my best to avoid it. It is becoming discouraged. It's becoming discouraged with your content, your output rate, your consistency, uh, lack of activity on your channel. Like it, it's it's a very it's, it's a very real thing, and a lot of people will go through it when they first start out because it, it it takes time to find that niche, and that concept that you want to run with. I know I definitely had a hard time doing it with a. Uh, not only my concepts, but what my, my overall quality, uh, finding the right like tunings to run your, run your channel, to run your videos, even to play your games or whatever content you're trying to create. It is difficult to like kind of get everything tuned in. And you know, I am going to go as far as to say that I definitely jumped the gun. I should have paid a little more attention to my, my quality I was outputting, but I was just so excited to release that content. It, it, <laughs> it sounds silly, but when you hit that upload button and you and you see it's finished, and you you're just really excited to publish it because you really want to you want to start getting feedback. You want to start knowing right away. But the thing is, you need to evaluate your own content before you release it, and that's something that I hadn't done with my first few videos. If you go back to the very early uh, season, oh, has more stuff I could have dropped off. If you go back to the very early uh, portion of this season, you'll see that there's a lot of content there. It's kind of very. Ugh. Ooh, cringy uh, quality wasn't there sound quality was really bad and there's just honestly and honestly guys I just was just really excited to upload I was really excited to upload and I was really excited to get my channel started and I, I pretty much jumped the gun on it I jumped the gun I was super stoked and I wanted to uh, I wanted I wanted the YouTube channel so bad and I got it and I could tell right away that my content was pretty poor and the only real likes and the comments I got on them there was uh, people saying why did you upload this why did you do this and you know that that's a lesson learned so what I would say to everyone else is first off take your time when you're uploading make sure you're double checking your content making sure that everything you have that you have uploading right now is what you want on there because once it's on there it's on there people are gonna see it at some point even if you think you take it down in time there's a pretty good chance that someone will see it and you know that first impression is pretty long-lasting so make sure you're double checking your content but at the same time, if you upload something that you enjoy and you get some bad feedback on it, or you don't get a lot of activities, or the, you know the activity you expected, don't get discouraged. Just continue to upload. Continue doing it. At the first, you know, you gotta understand that this uh, this whole YouTube thing it, it's an art form. You know, it, it takes time. It's gonna take a take a good deal of time to get everything uploaded and have the content that's actually drawing in more people than well, drawing in more people. <laughs> It, it, it is difficult. It is difficult, and it is not the easiest thing to do in the world. And keeping the consistent content up, it can be very hard. But with that in mind, you know, as long as you remain uh, non-discouraged from what you're getting, and you stay, uh, you stay up to par with your your feedback. People tell you something, and you make the change, or you you know, you give them you give them feedback, and let them know, okay, yeah, 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 I will make that change, and make sure you're you're staying on top of that. And make sure that you know 
you're you're being active on your channel. Now you don't just want people to be active on your channel, you want to be active on your channel as well. Alright, and number two. And that would be scripting and outlining your content. So what I've come into quite a few conundrums is when I'm recording and I run into like a blank or I will just start rambling and totally get off track of what I wanted to discuss in the video, I will come across a, a just a, a blob of a blob of just jarble nonsense that's completely irrelevant. And it is it is very difficult to edit the round and it's very difficult to uh, make your content flow better when you when you throw things in like that. It, it doesn't it doesn't help if you go in totally unscripted. Yeah, it's good to have like some like ad libbing in there and kind of sort of feel out what you're talking about and make it you know kind of genuine and natural. But at the same time too, you know, if you don't have any structure to go off of, you end up saying things like totally off tangent and then uh, there's a lot of stuttering and a blah 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 like a lot of that. <laughs> You get a lot of that going on, and that, that isn't, that's not good. That is not quality content. It doesn't sound good, and nobody's going to want to watch it. So it, it, it's important to script and outline. You know, rehearse. Come up with ideas, things you want to talk about. Write them down. Uh, put them on a notepad. That's what I do is I'll have a notepad up on my other monitor, and I will just go ahead and, like, look over every once in a while to make sure I'm talking about the right thing because then I'll realize, like, wow, uh, my time management needs to prioritize this material a little differently in order to get everything out and discussed about it. And that falls kind of like in 2, 2.5 is with your scripting outline is also time management. And that's kind of like something that we'll have to go over with a lot of these. But time management is very important. And if you're not able to time manage your scripting, then you're kind of going to get a lot of content that just kind of rambles and goes on. You'll notice like a lot of my earlier episodes, uh, they kind of run like 25 to 30 minutes and like they sometimes even go over 30 minutes and that's just bad prioritizing on my part that's something else i didn't really pay attention to i just thought okay it's a long episode big deal the thing is you have to look out for is that essentially youtubers or people on youtube that want to watch videos they want to stick to like the, the 20 the 15 to 25 minute range because they see th videos that are over 30 minutes and like oh, i don't have time to go down for this sitcom <laughs> So make sure you're, you're staying in that 25 minute range. If you stay right in there, that's a very comfortable uh, duration for videos for people to watch. And you'll be more likely to look at it and watch the entire video through rather than sitting through 30 minutes. Because, I don't know, it's just, it's just a way of, you know, people look at things. And they see 25 minutes is not that, not that bad, but 30 minutes is a practically half, <laughs> so that practically half an hour, right? It is half an hour. So yeah, scripting, outlining, and preparing. Rehearse. Uh, I know that I spend a lot of time in the car driving to and from work. Uh, whenever I'm running errands or groceries, I rehearse a lot in the car. I even rehearse like when I'm c cooking, and you know, I just like you know, get figure out what I want to say for each episode, and kind of just ramble on and get it all out of my system. Then and sort of like develop that fluid speak. Uh, I think rehearsing is very, very important, but it's also important. Not you're not trying to just lo uh, remember verbatim scripts. You're just trying to get like kind of guidelines, you're trying to create guidelines to sort of do your video over. All right, so number three, and this one kind of goes back to the first topic, but that is knowing views over subscriptions. So subscriptions are very cool to have. Uh, there, it makes you know things look good. And it's good to have a lot of subscriptions. At least I think so. I wouldn't be trying to get more if I didn't think so. But at the same time, I'm not. You know, it's not like the end all. You know, subscriptions are nice and it looks good. But at the end of the day, what really really matters is Oh, what's this right here? Interesting. What really matters is having views. Uh, views over subscriptions any day, man. If you have a whole bunch of su subscribers but no views, uh, it's just it's kind of like a, a car with no gas. It, it, it looks not like a fancy car, and you get you fill it up with that uh the 85 octane when you need to put the V powered like 97 in there, and but you're running on E. You know it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it's not gonna do you any good. What you need to have is you need views. You need a lot of views, and views are what kind of determine, I believe, at least this is my theory on the algorithm, uh, it, it determines your quality of ad content, and it determines, you know, how how uh, you know how high that, that channel is rated in terms of uh, like what videos if somebody searches it up. If, with a lot of views, a lot of comments, that, you know, that looks really good. It looks really good on the channels to have these, and then the subscriptions will come. I, I see a lot of people, heart, like, heart, you know, going over and over and over again. Man, I really wish I had more subscribers. Really need more subscribers. And yeah, subscribers are good because it, you know it kind of gives you the stable base of 
people that are interested in your content and interested in your channel, but at the same time, if they're not watching anything, then it's just a number. And yeah, while at, at, at some degree, it's nice to have a lot of subscribers because it looks good and you know, the odds are if you have a lot of subscribers already, people are more likely to subscribe to your channel because they're like, oh, this guy must have some really good content. But the proof's in the pudding. Once they log, or once they sub to your channel and they find that you don't really have anything to offer, then, you know, again, it's just a number. They'll either forget to unsubscribe or they'll do it right then and there. So always use over subscriptions, always. You know, it, and I know it's a tough thing to say, saying, you know, well, Zero, you're doing a 50th subscriber video. Like, why are you celebrating subscriptions? And you're right. I'm kind of a hypocrite in that matter. But I think it, I was just really excited, again, really excited to do something for a milestone channel or a milestone event channel. Milestone channel event. And this just happened to be it. So, well, again, subscribers are really good. And the subscribers that I have, I believe to be really like high quality subscribers, people that are interested in the channel, people that are commenting and, you know, making, making contribution to the channel. We're trying to develop this really awesome community. Hmm. <laughs> that was odd. So yeah, yeah. Uh, make sure you got, make sure you got those guys on board. Make sure you got those guys that are, you know, commenting on everything and they're viewing and they're actually watching. Pay a lot of, t pay attention to your analyticals. Your analyticals will tell you a lot about your subscribers, whether or not they're quality subscribers, or if you uh, need to go out and do some, uh, some soul subscribing searching. <laughs> I guess you could call it. So a big thing that everybody seems to miss out on a lot, especially within the YouTube community, is the community itself. It's not just you posting videos on there. You gotta find people that you can associate with your videos as well, and community and collab and create and network. Because it's at the end of the day, you're asking for people to come look at your videos. Sure, you can look at, set your videos up to look at them and spam them for you know 10,000 likes and 10,000 views, but you know that it makes it pretty difficult. So it's important to uh, you know post on forms and you know share your videos it might be on any sort of social media uh, particularly on you know, Facebook uh, share on Facebook you know and, and it's one of those things that I had a difficult time doing because I you know was, you know maybe kind of a guilty passion or something you were you know the shameful pleasure I was yeah I play a lot of Minecraft and you know <laughs> it's one of those things that you kind of have to get past because you know the only way you're going to get yourself out there is by being okay with what you do um, yeah, so I was looking for some moving wands. <laughs> I totally just blanked there for a second. And that, it, and it's one of those things that it is hard to get through because you're not necessarily comfortable with, you know, posting and sharing that sort of thing. Because, you know, everyone's always, everyone cares to a certain extent what people think of them. But it's the only way you're going to get yourself out there. And also, it's the only way you're going to get feedback on how to better your content. If you're producing the same content with your own uh, criticism, that's great and all, but at, at the end of the day, and I know I continue to use that metaphor quite a bit, at the end of the day, you know, it, it's what other people think of your content, not so much what you think. You know, everybody can hang a picture on the fridge and say, you know, they did a good job, but, you know, that's, that's not how you get to be successful in life. So yeah, community. Community's big. You gotta get big in your community. If you can do that, you'll be sitting really well. And finally, consistency. Consistency is above all the most, probably one of the most important things you can, uh, you know, focus on. If you don't have consistency, you might just overall fail as a YouTuber. It's something I, I found out right away. Simply because if you, you need to have a kind of like a sort of a gumption to want to create. And if you don't have that, if you don't have that gumption, if you can't, you know, facilitate yourself with that sort of efficiency. Uh, you run the risk of simply uh, just kind of dwindling out, phasing out. It won't become, as, it won't be as fun for you as it used to be. Uh, the first couple of initial videos are a lot; they're a lot of fun. I can I can admit that when I made my first couple of videos, I was more excited to continue going on and create more videos and more videos and more videos. Uh, come to find out that you know you come towards like towards the end of the, your uh, video succession, and you realize that like man, like these are not as fun as they used to be, and it can get a little grindy. And that's understandable, it can, because there's some content you just, you know, you kind of want to breeze past and you don't think it's worth recording. But what what comes down to is that you have to have the ability to continue working through that and get through that content 
and get it out to the people. You know, it might be just filler content. It might be content you not you might not do necessary, but that might not be true for all all your viewers. If they're seeing that you're making this content, and I'm having a little issue picking up these blocks here, if they see you, you know, you're struggling with this content, bring it up, but you're still doing it. You're being consistent, and you're taking them into consideration. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> um, but you're taking them into consideration. You're push, pushing this content out, and you're making it worthwhile. Then you know, that's that says a lot about you. This says a lot about you and your content, your quality, your devotion to your consistency, and your channel. All right, guys. Well, hey, that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, I know this wasn't our normal let's play, but I thought it was important to kind of get that information out here. And hey, 50 subs. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Please hold your applause. Um, thanks again for watching. And, you know, you guys leave me feedback, leave me comments. Let me know what you think of this episode. Maybe we can do more episodes like this or maybe not do any more at all. You know, ooh, maybe it wasn't that good. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for you guys for watching. And if, again, if you really... Really, 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 like, really like this video, and you're not subscribed, please go down there, go find a subscribe button, give it a press. And if you really, really liked it, even like more so than it just said, go ahead and press the little bell in the subscription box, and you will get yourself a notification every time I upload something. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>